Good morning. Hi, everybody. It's Leanne, and it is time for Sacred Circle Time. I am so glad to see you. Hi. Can you wave hi to me? There you go. Hi. Hi, teachers. I'm glad you're here. Hi, kids. Oh, I'm so glad that we get to do Sacred Circle Time together today. It's our first one of the new school year. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our sacred space ready. So we get out our sacred cloth and we put it right here. And that's because this is a very special time for us. Then we get out God the Creator. Good job. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. That's our little dove for the Holy Spirit. And now that our sacred space is ready, we are ready for sacred circle time. And of course, our story for today comes right out of the Bible. So we're going to use this Bible, and I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible. But before I do that, um, I have some things to show you. So the first thing I brought is this little bowl full of rocks. See those? Those are crystals that I picked up when I was in Colorado this summer. And then I have another bowl. See what's in there? Clothes pins. You can hang clothes up with these or make crafts. See? They open and shut. Isn't that fun? Clothes pins. And then I have some pretty marbles, all different shapes and everything. See all those marbles? Now I'm going to use all three of these in our story because our story, this is something about our story here. I wonder what rocks in clothespins and marbles have to do with our story. Hmm, maybe we should count them. Let's see how many there are. Okay, let's start with the rocks. Are you ready? Will you help me count? Can you count? Let's see, we've got one rock, two rocks, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rocks. I wonder what that has to do with our story. All right, let's see. Um, let's see how many clothespins we have. Are you ready? Let's count the clothespins together. Remember? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, are you counting with me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had ten rocks, ten clothespins. Hmm, let's see how many marbles we have. One, two, okay, here we go. One, two, three, how many do you think we're going to have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had ten rocks, ten clothespins, and ten special marbles. I bet our story has something to do with the number 10. What do you think? I think it does. Let's look at our story. So our story today, you were right. It has to do with the 10 commandments. So there was a man named Moses and God wanted to teach the people how to live so that they could be healthy and have a really good life. And God said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you 10 commandments, 10 rules. And if you follow these 10 rules, everything's going to be all right. So Moses went on top of a mountain. There was a big storm. You see that? And then Moses wrote down the 10 commandments, the 10 rules from God on stone. And he carried them down the mountain and he gave them to the people. And we still follow those 10 commandments today. Day. Isn't that exciting? Way back in Moses' time, we got those Ten Commandments and we still follow them today. Now, I don't have time to teach you all ten of the commandments, but I'm going to teach you if you took all ten of the commandments and you put them together, they say three things. They tell us love God, 
love yourself and love your neighbors. Love God, love yourself, and love your neighbors. And that is what God asks us to do, to love God, to love ourselves, and to love our neighbors. Now, when you're older, you'll learn all 10 of those commandments. But for now, just remember that the 10 commandments tell us to love God, love ourselves, and love our neighbors. And if we do that, we're gonna have a great and a happy life because that's the life that God wants us to have. Now, I have one more thing that has 10. Can you guess what I have? Listen. I have bells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten bells, and we're going to use this for our prayer. We're going to say to God, Thank you so much for the Ten Commandments. And when I say for the Ten Commandments and I ring my bells, I want you to wave your hands, wave your hands and say, thank you, God. All right, so let's practice. I'll say, thank you, God, for the Ten Commandments. And then I'll ring my bells. And what do you do? Wave your hands, wave your hands. Exactly. All right, ready? Here we go. Thank you, God, for the Ten Commandments. Wave your hands. We celebrate the Ten Commandments. They, they were given to us because God loves us so much. You want to do it again? Okay, here we go. Thank you, God, for the Ten Commandments. Now you wave your hands, wave your hands, and I'll ring the bells. Yay! Isn't that exciting? The Ten Commandments are a great gift to us from God, and they teach us to love ourselves, to love God, ourselves, and our neighbors. And because of that, we're going to have a happy life, and that is worth celebrating. I'm going to ring my bells one more time. There you go. Oh, you did such a good job in Sacred Circle time today. I'm so proud of you. We're going to put everything away. So I'm going to put away the rocks and things later. But for now, let's put away God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We'll put our sacred cloth away. We're all done with Sacred Circle time. You did a great job. Clap for yourselves. Yay! Now we have one more thing to do before we leave. I get to give you a blessing. So get close to your screens. Get really close, really close. And guess what? You are a blessing. Don't you ever forget what a blessing you are. I'm going to do it again. Get close to the screen. You are a blessing. And teachers, you are a blessing. Oh, we are so blessed to have you, and I am so blessed to get to do Sacred Circle time with you. Thank you for being here today, and I'll see you soon, okay? All right, bye. Bye. I'll see you soon. I hope to see you soon. Bye.